What's going on, y'all? Today we got Michael Jordan 69 points, Bulls versus Cavs for game fourth quarter, man. It's that time, fourth quarter time, man. It's time to clutch up, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Let's put the game away. I think we up well, like nine, nine, ten already. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Up 11. Hey, if you think Michael Jordan can shoot, where do you see these guys? <laughs> <laughs> the dirty dozen. And when they shoot, you drop. On you look now at the end of that quarter. Michael Jordan sat down. The, the Wolves had a 17-point lead. In a quick period of time, it's down to 11. And how long will Phil Jackson leave Michael out? Michael's very hot right now. He's on a roll. They don't play again until Friday night at home. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how long Phil decides to rest Michael. Michael Jordan, by the way, has set a new Richfield Coliseum scoring record. Bob McAdoo held the old record of 50 points. Michael has 51. And yes, that's right. We have 12 minutes of basketball remaining and a couple of more Chicago turnovers. And uh, Michael will be back in here loading it up. We don't want him to sit too long. I sent a message over there. We're, we're looking for 60 here tonight. Well, all he has to do is play two minutes and get nine points away he's going tonight. Bulls by 11. This game is still within reach for the Cavaliers. We've got a foul down here. It's going to go against Chicago. Was it Will Purdue? You know, Brad Doherty still does not have a field goal in this game. Yes. Will Purdue. He's averaging over the last six or seven ball games about 18 points, and Brad Doherty's got his points at the line. But he has not gotten to the basket tonight at all. Shots he has gotten, he's jerked around the basket and really hadn't had good concentration. And it's yes, Michael Jordan has re entered the game. How long was he mm. on? Uh, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's rested. 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, plus the timeout. <laughs> Paxson with five fouls back in there defensing John Morton right now. They want to get it to Doherty, but Doherty drew the double team before the ball even came in. 10 on the shot clock. See, this is where Cleveland struggles in the half court. John Williams had to go to his left, doesn't get the bounce. Charles Davis said, look, Bill, you get more playing time. That's my rebound. <laughs> give, me, give me one stat. Pac-Man, find it, Pac-Man. Thank you, Pac-Man. First half of the shooting, John Paxson gets his first points of this ball game. He had a big fourth quarter in Atlanta the other night. Bulls were trailing by five. Pax came in at 11 of his 15 points in the fourth quarter to help the Bulls win on the road at Atlanta. Uh. Morton against Paxson. Take him to the hoop, see if they can get another foul from him. No. Good pass from Morton. No look into Doherty, who gets his first field goal of this ball game. Well, Brad Doherty had a tent in the lane that time. I think they were so intent on watching John Morton that Brad Doherty was just planted right in the middle of the lane. Brad Doherty flea market. 91-80, Chicago by 11, inside to Stacy King. It was mm. blocked by Williams, and then he took the loose ball. Yeah, it was a little Williams crowded down there. I ain't gonna lie, he should have. Passed down to Chucky Brown. See, Brad Doherty's got to want the ball right now against Bill Cartwright. You got to get him the ball, and he's got to make something happen. This is this is where your big man really comes into effect. The fourth quarter of an important game. They posted Williams, who goes to the right. The jump hook goes in for John Williams. Cleveland is battling back in here. They're down by nine. Williams has 15. I guarantee the Chicago coaches said flood his left shoulder, make him go back to his left. But players forget during the course of the game. Stacey King is a rookie. He's got to learn what John Williams likes to do. This is a Cleveland on a roll right here, battling back in. Chicago had led by 15. Mike trying to get it. Four on the shot clock. Paxson's got trouble. They get it to Jordan. He goes for the three. He gets the three. Oh, my, my <laughs> that boy not missing right here. Four points. That matches the 54 <laughs> that, that he got in Cleveland in the tough opening shot. game in overtime this year. Jordan six away from six. <laughs> See, the, the toughest thing about that oh. is the shot clock was winding down. Not the other way. Defense. Doherty gets the roll. He's had two field goals. He's taking it inside. He's got two. That was a tough shot, though, Mike. Chicago by 10. Nine minutes remaining in this ball. Shot game. clock winding down. To get back in here for Cleveland. <coughs> Pac-Man, Pac another one. This uh. is for long range. Brad Doherty. Diving attempt. Can't save it. Bryce, Nance, Bennett back into the lineup. Elo, Morton, and Brown will sit down for Cleveland. 
Right now, Cleveland has got to get some stops. And you say, how are they going to stop him with Michael Jordan playing the way he is? They have Winston Bennett on him right now. Michael can take the ball past him on the drive. Or pull uh, up. Or stop on the down. Doherty playing much. Barely missed that. Doherty was invisible inside earlier in this game. But he's got a couple of big rebounds and a couple of baskets here lately. They want to go to John Williams down on the block against Stacey King. Turn around. Right hand that goes down for John Williams. It's an eight-point Chicago lead. Cavaliers battling back in. I'll tell you one thing the Bulls have to be careful about, that they are too not mesmerized by Michael Jordan and expect Ooh, him to make every shot. Fresh. That's what he's done tonight. And at some point, he's going to miss a couple. Defense. Turnover uh, Chicago. It'll belong to Cleveland. That's 13 Chicago turnovers. Remember, against this Cleveland team, Chicago averaged only 10 turnovers a game. You said it could be a key, particularly late. Well, it has to be because with a team like Chicago, mm. Chicago's a team that even out that uh, turnover, turn um, over turnover a few times, but get shots total. every time down the floor. <coughs> <laughs> You've got a foul. Yeah, they getting up Cartwright trying to box Brad Doherty out of it. <laughs> that was big, two big old sumo wrestlers in the lane, Bob. They were, they were locked up with each other. Check this out. That's, That's slow dancing. <laughs> well, it's not romantic. <laughs> <laughs> you might slow dance like that. <laughs> La Bada. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that thing is. Eight minutes to go in this. I'm staying away from it. Here's Doherty against Cartwright again. Gets him in the air. Misses the follow, but there is Nats for the basket. And it's a six-point Chicago lead. Larry Nats has his first two of this half, only six in the game. And the crowd <coughs> is back in it with 7.40 remaining. As if they try to go to Michael Jordan in the post. Here goes Jordan down to the post. Now he has to spot back out. Seven on the shot clock. He's going for three. A little too flat. He's on maybe getting tired. Rebound, John Williams. We've got a foul against Chicago. Dick Helm filling in for the ejected Lenny Wilkins. That foul is against Cartwright, and that'll be five from Richfield Coliseum. We've got an emotional game on our hands here. Bob Neal, Doug Collins with you. We have 722 to go. The Bulls are only really down the six. They coming back. The Bulls. I said the Bulls. I mean, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Richfield Coliseum. The oh, Cavaliers no. have won eight in a row, trying to come from behind to make it nine in a row. And it's uh, time for the minute made minute. Well, you see Michael Jordan, 54 <laughs> points, 10 rebounds. Brad Doherty, Larry Nance. Only five for eight. That third points. quarter. Brad Doherty starting to come alive. You see the disparity in the field goal shooting, 68 to 39. Orders from Dick Helm. If you're the coach, pound the ball inside. Go at Bill Cartwright against Doherty. Let's get him out of the ball game. You got three guys inside who can score. Williams, Doherty, and Nance. They're looking for Williams. Draws the double team. Where's the open man? Doherty has 10 on the shot clock. Back to Price. Price has Cartwright way outside. Bennett takes it inside. Somebody got a hand on it. Went in anyway. Looked like Stacy King tipped it, but it still went in. And now it is a four-point Chicago lead in the Cavs on a 12-5 run. Now the Bulls cannot stand around and look for Michael Jordan. They've got to all stay active, Bob. They've got to make sure that when he penetrates, they're ready to shoot the basketball. He penetrates. He has to dish it off. Two on the shot clock inside the King. It would have counted. Oh, man. Jordan gets the okay. loose ball. Boy, they got to grab that ball. Take your time with him, Mike. Tip it loose. Michael has 12 rebounds over this 51 points. Cartwright. You could see Cartwright almost surprised by that pass. Once Jordan gets rid of it, Chicago is disorganized. Williams with the... Give me that. Hit. Oh, he's going to call the offensive foul. foul. Listen to this crowd. And Mike, and Mike went up and got it, too. With two hands. Oh, listen to this crowd. They were going to call goaltending after it, but first the offensive foul against Williams. Boy, that's a big play right there because that. Oh, uh, he's going to call goaltending on that. He would have been Damn. Out of the ball game, mm -hmm. And it would have been a bucket and a three-point play opportunity. We're going to see it right here. I'm not sure John Paxson got there. Put it on the on the board, man. This could be a five-point play right here. And the, and the fact that John Paxson did not foul out of the game. So mark that play down at the 
6-10 mark of the fourth period. With Chicago leading it by four. Jordan trying to get loose from Winston Bennett, who just had a hold of his, I was going to say his hair, his shirt. <laughs> See, right now, Winston Bennett is trying to be physical with Michael Jordan. He's trying to wear him down as much as he can to take away a little bit from his game. Michael has been coming down and shooting the outside jump shot. Winston Bennett trying to keep him out of the middle. Over on the left of your screen. Now out of the screen to the left. Winston Bennett just all over Jordan. There's Jordan. He got away from him from 17. Easy. Jordan yep. 53. Make that 56. Then he gets himself in racing. Good, good down screens, man. Nance down inside. Draws the double team. Gets the ah. anyway. Cleveland stays within four with 538. Cleveland with a win tonight would move ahead of Atlanta into the eighth and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Atlanta leads them by half. The Hawks are idle tonight. Well, these are the games you have to win, the home games. When you're in a playoff hunt, you've got to win at home. Nance with a rebound. Cleveland can pull to within two or less. Price. I would say good defense, Scotty. Good defense, Scotty. Looks like he may have gotten away with him to push on Bennett. Yeah, I think he got his hands in his back, but uh, wasn't enough contact to make that call. 13 rebounds for Michael Jordan. That's good defense, Scotty. Chicago by four. It's playoff intensity here in this game. Jordan has 58. You but can't give him that shot. Jordan will give him Especially 60. at this point in the game. Cleveland needs a timeout here. Seems like the the uh, Cavs lost the defensive got intensity, man. Y'all can't, y'all mad close, and there's still four minutes left. You know what I'm saying you could you catch up right now. Chicago leading. Then you, you, you can be good later on, man. So you don't have to. You on the little time run, time clock. But the big thing is Brad Doherty stays locked to Bill Cartwright. If we'll roll this, we'll take a look. He comes locked up, and you're going to see it right here as he keeps going. To keep mm -hmm. Michael Jordan going. Way to come here, off tight. Brad Doherty's got to show out here and prevent this pass. He's all the way back here. Winston Bennett doesn't have a chance. Uh, Brad Doherty's got to give the man some help on that play. It's a six-point Chicago lead. 4.37 remaining in the game. Michael Jordan has 58 points. Carl Malone at 61. Utah, January 27th. Chambers had 60 for Phoenix last Saturday. In case you're wondering about the other 60-plus scores this year. There have been two. See what happened there right now. Michael Jordan has switched on to Mark Price. So Phil Jackson wants to keep Paxson in the game. So he's got Michael on Price to calm Price down. That puts Winston Bennett against Paxson. He'll try to go right to the post with Winston Bennett. Price, by the way, has been silent in the fourth quarter after having 25 points and playing very big offensively earlier. Uh, in the steal. Now they've got the switch to Nance, who's going to take it inside. This is the hoop, but the foul. By the way, speaking of team fouls, Bulls have four, Cavs only one, with 4-12 to go in this ball game. Well, the, the factor that that is is that you can take two fouls off the ball on Michael Jordan if you have to before he gets into the shooting position before you're going to put them in the penalty so Cleveland should be very aggressive defensively but the one thing that they have not done here is they've not been able to get to that position when there's a loose ball to pick it up to get themselves out and run with it the Bulls have gotten most of the loose balls here in this game Jordan's 58 that's his season high you know Craig Elo has been on the bench a lot here huh? Interesting that CP comes back late with him against Michael Jordan. Ten on the shot clock for Chicago. Pippen against John Williams. To Grant with five on the shot clock. Grant with the jump hook. Big okay, Grant. Horace Grant has been quiet tonight. That's only 14 points for Horace Grant. Well, that's the only other guy besides John Paxson who has two to score in this period beside Michael Jordan. So, as we talked about, other guys must get involved. There's an offensive foul on Winston Bennett against Paxson. So. That's six on pack, right? themselves in the foot here if they're not careful. Well, that's on Bennett. Chicago by six, to go in this ball the on Bennett. Kilo. That's crazy. Forgotten man is back into the ball game. Dick Hill okay. for Lenny Wilkins, who was ejected in the third quarter. That's the fourth quarter scoring so far. 
that Cleveland has used up so much energy getting back in this ball game. And that's a Chicago turnover and a good break for Cleveland. Sloppy passing, y'all. Got to clean the passes, man. 16 turnovers in this ball game. It's been one of the reasons Cleveland has hung around. Packs him back on Mark Price. It's a matchup we want to watch. To Nance draws the double team. And the Cavs reverse it. They get Williams in the paint. Tips his own shot back up and in. And Hot Rod Williams has 19. And he's been big off the bench as he's been all year. The Bulls lead it by four with three to play. Cleveland looking for a stop here. Nance against Pippen. Give Mike the ball, y'all. Come on. Jordan the ball. Six on the shot clock. Four. Three. I know Mike is getting even more tired all those times you gotta work to try to get the ball and then they don't pass it to him. I understand trying to make good passes, but get Mike the ball, man. Earlier. Oh man. Michael Jordan has got to get the ball in his hands right now and deliver. Get Mike the ball, y'all. Get Mike the ball. Yo, I got to chill, man. It's a little early in the morning. I got to chill. We chill. We chill. But you feel me? Oh, I don't want... Oh, he out of here. He out of here. Damn, Pac. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Damn. Come on, man. Yeah, see, it's early. It's early. I got to chill. He scored 63 versus Boston back in 1986, had 61 versus Detroit in 87, 61 versus Atlanta in 87, and now has 60 in this game. Those were two well-coached games, those last two years. <laughs> nice job, Doug, but I was going to say nice job on those, and uh, <laughs> Phil's done a great job of shooting for Michael right. right. here tonight. B.J. Armstrong in, packs it out with the foul out. See, after a big game like that, when you're going to your press conference, you got to talk about the great plays you ran to get him open. <laughs> I noticed one way you said they got to get the ball in the hands of Michael. He just brought it up for court. real. That's, see what happens. Late the ball, a good thing. Ball, good things happen when Mike when the ball in Mike hands, man. Come on. But they've only got going here to the last two minutes. They really only have two. So you keep the ball out of Michael's hands and make these other guys. What score? What score? Don't right. let him get the basket. Down two still. Copy. Bulls by two. B.J. Armstrong, the rookie, being hounded by Bryce. They get it to Jordan. Jordan defense by Elo. One in the line. Mike got to put it away. Gotta make him shoot a jumper. Pippen with 10 on the clock. Into the paint, Pippen. Hot Rod Williams. Good defense. Oh. Ah, the no, I ain't gonna lie, it looked good too. Damn, Scotty, I ain't gonna lie, I like it. I like it. I'll take it. It was a low force, but it looked good. They also are a great three-point shooting team. Remember that. Good. Oh, I thought he might got a piece of that. Team and the foul on Chicago. It's on Horace Grant. Oh, Horace Grant. I thought that was on Mike. To go to the line to tie this ball game. It's been a beauty. You're going to see a triple team on Larry Nance here. Carton Wright, Horace Grant, and here comes Michael Jordan with the slap. Larry Nance now is pulling within one. <laughs> they caught they call it on, on Brett. Have gone stagnant offensively. They have Brett, the rest love Mike, man. They try, they try to see Mike go for 70. <laughs> I feel him, though. Got a Ooh. He, he ain't leave, he ain't travel, he ain't leave that pivot, he ain't leave that pivot, man, he good, he good, chill, yeah, oh, oh, they doubling, they doubling, come on, BJ, ah. strong rebound, Mike, we need those, you know, you know, yeah, he, he hesitated, and then Jordan comes flying in for the rebound. This is just an unbelievable effort. Look at here comes Michael Jordan. And a great rebound. Important here, this is not a shooting foul. Ball sideline out of bounds to Chicago. Cleveland had the foul to give. Chicago leads it by one as call timeout with a minute 22 remaining. We've got a great doubleheader for you. The New York Knicks at Chicago in game one on Friday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Skip Carey and Rick Barry will have that game for you. And 
John McLeod will join me in L.A. for Portland and the Lakers as game number two. But right now, minute 22 to go. Bulls by one. Chicago with the ball. Michael Jordan loves to go to the post here in this situation. They have him posted against Elo over the left of your screen. Because he can also get to the free throw line down here. There he is, trying to back cut on Elo. Elo all over him. Get it to him. There you go. Pulls up. Ah, we'll take it though. Ooh, I thought Grant did it. I thought Grant did it. I thought Grant did it. The end. What of itself? That's a big follow-up right there by Horace Grant, and the ball laid Not for real. Almost a three-point play opportunity. Grant will now go to the free throw line. Boy, you saw a great effort there by Craig Elo to try to keep the ball out of Michael Jordan's hands. He made him work so hard. Not for Horace real. Can be a good he definitely make it a hard on Mike. Man, I know Mike energy on. Or empty right there, just trying to get the ball. Like he gets the first one, big one. Here's Jordan big free throw. Look at look at Elo work. Look at him work. I mean, they, they work so hard, and then no one blocks out Horace Grant. That was the end of the play. Elo had just been pounding him earlier. See, still plenty of time, Bob. There's still three possessions left in this game, and it's a three-point ball game. So Cleveland still got plenty of time. What they need to do is get a stop and score. When we come back, I want your answer on how much Cleveland misses Lenny Sheesh. Wilkins right now, who's been ejected from this It's game. a goodie right now, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know it was gonna be this much of a goodie. I thought Michael was gonna have 69, then I'll run him out the Lenny gym, Wilkins, all that. <laughs> this is a well, goodie in this, y'all. Because he's a calming influence. Dick Helm was an outstanding coach, but the players have tremendous confidence in Lenny Wilkins. He's been in his ball club. He's nurtured them from a, a very poor team into a good team. Now, what they like to do out of this, and I was kidding Mark Price before the game, they love to run Mark Price off four screens. They like for him to enter the ball and come off four screens and look for a shot many times a three. So be aware of Mark Price coming off of four screens for a jump shot. Speaking of Lenny Wilkins being out, Chicago led 50, uh, 68 9 58 since he was ejected. Cavs have outscored Chicago 43 35. But now they need him. He's in the locker room biting his nails. Watch Mark Price now. They, they run this high pick where John Williams will back pick. They're going to go screen There it ball. is. Price for three. He doesn't get it. Rebound, Nance. It's, it's a, a big, big rebound. They still got plenty of time. Look at Elo. Right now. They still got plenty of time. Yeah, take your time with it. Y'all better take your time with it. Punched away by Jordan, but he's going to be called for the foul. With 49.8 seconds remaining in the game and the Bulls leading it by three. Cleveland knows they can move into the eighth and final playoff spot with a win tonight. See, Craig Elo is not a good foul shooter. You would think that the way he shoots the ball from the outside, but he is not a good free throw shooter. I think he's in the 60 percent. Craig Elo mm. shoots 69 percent. Pull the string on it. Yeah. He look confident shooting that ball. Shoot that motherfucker with confidence. You better hear him saying just hit that motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Missed two critical free throws. Nance missed one and Elo missed one. We got a tie. Put this joint away, Mike. Give it to Mike. Put it away. The double team. Now Pippen draws the double team. Well, they're gonna have a violation. He's in trouble. Don't get it across. It's a turnover. The double team pressure forced Pippen to throw it out of bounds. He had only one more second on the half court violation. Cleveland gets a timeout. I'm talking to Carwright. Carwright is supposed to flash middle. Carwright is supposed to flash middle. I know exactly exactly what he's saying. Cause look, look. Rookie gets the one and Elo missed one. We got a tie ball game, and that's what that's what it comes down. Look, Carwright. Carwright get down the down the draw late. He just he just standing there in the corner. That's a long pass. That's too much of a long pass, Carwright. You got to flash middle. Come up middle, flash. You know, you got to show yourself. You're the biggest guy on the court. You come flash middle. We throw it up to you. Catch it up here, keep it up here. Where your options? So it is. I feel you, I feel you, Mike. Get up on him. You gotta let him know what he, what, what, why you on him, what he, what he did wrong. We needed you right there, Paul, right? In terms of time, okay, Bob, you got 38.9 seconds, all right? You would like to get this shot up in enough time when you trade two for one. So look for them getting the ball in, maybe to Mark Price, having him come there you go. and look for a quick shot. Yeah, he maybe let him know. You know what I'm saying? W Mike, you know what I'm saying? Do it. Come on, man. Stop making it seem like, like a bad teammate. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We all got the same goal. We all got the same goal. We all the same goal. We all trying to win, though, right? You know what I'm saying? Look for him to try to take him off the dribble. 
Craig Elo spotting up for three points if Michael Jordan tries to help out. Elo and Price, they've got Gordy on high also. Time remaining in the game on the lower right of your screen. John Williams draws a triple Good D. team. Jordan Good D. Good D. Steal nearly. Elo, bad shot. Grab it. Jordan with the rebound and the foul yep. is on. Yep. That's tough. It's on Elo. I, you know, Cleveland tried to run a set play that time to get the ball into John Williams. I, you know, they ended up getting a tough shot by Elo on the baseline, and then a, a Michael Jordan with a great rebound. But uh, in that situation, you know, I don't like the second guess, but I like Mark Price going against B.J. Armstrong. Yeah, me too, clearly. Jordan at the line. He has 60. That's correct. 6-0 points in this game. His career high 60 points. back in 86. He misses the uh. A big miss with 22.9 left. It's a two-point game. So now, see, good. Give me one, Mike. Even if Michael makes this shot, I don't like Give me one, Mike. just time unless it comes out of the flow. But there's still plenty of time to find one, Mike. There you go. Three-point Chicago lead. Jordan has 61. That ties the most points scored in the NBA this year. With Carl Damn, Bowles. he would have had a 70 boy. He would have made that free throw. On January 20th. Damn. All right, Coach Collins. 22.9 remaining. Chicago by three. Well, I don't run a play, a set play, to get a specific three-point shot. There's 22 seconds. I try to get the ball, and again, I try to get it to Mark Price. Don't be surprised if Michael Jordan doesn't play Mark Price on this possession, okay? But I try to get something going to the basket. If the defense collapses and we pitch it and shoot a three, that's one thing. Normally, in many times, teams will give you a quick basket to keep from fouling, or maybe you'll get something going to the basket. If you shoot a three and miss here, the game is over. So that's why, at this amount of time, I don't like to do that. And they do have Armstrong on Price. Inbounding will be John Williams. Be aware of Scotty Pippen now trying to prevent Price from getting the ball coming inbounds. He'll double him up. Oh, no. They lobbed a match. It's picked off by Grant. Oh, and fortunately goodness. for Cleveland, falls into the hands was, of Doherty. That was a horrible time. time remaining in the game, 15 seconds. Price kicks to Elo. He goes for three. And it's it. Cleveland by one. Woo! That's a big Cleveland. shot. Elo, that's a big shot. That's a big shot. Damn. Sheesh. The penetration and the pitch. Michael Jordan came over to give help. He left Elo. At that point in time, you want to make him shoot a two. You don't want to give a man a three-point shot. Watch it. We got the screen. Price off the screen. There comes Horace Grant. Michael Jordan. Ah, uh, Mike. Mike was watching the the, the back door. Ah, yeah. Great play. A little mental breakdown right there. It's all good. John Williams threw a horrible inbound. Let's try to put this away, Mike. Oh yeah, watch this. Let's try to put this away, Mike. Grant, you gotta grab that, Grant. Oh my God! It seems like you just looking at it and running. You could have, oh, and fall to the ground with it. You know, full on it, like like it's football, full on the ball. At 105, 11.3 remaining in this ball game. Now I ask you about as the. It was a great effort, though, uh, uh Grant. But dang, I thought you should have just uh, fell. You know what I'm saying? What you gotta decide here is when do you want to go, and if you're Cleveland. Okay, I don't know the timeout situation here. Right? What's the what, what is our timeout situation? Chicago has one and Cleveland has none. So the problem you have here with Cleveland, all right, if Chicago scores, you have no timeouts. You've got to go length of the floor. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see them double up and force B.J. Armstrong to take the shot, get the ball out of Michael Jordan's hand. Could be a free throw line situation too. How about fouling early, giving them only two, no. and then having ten seconds no. to come back? You never foul a team to give them the lead, Bob. Never. You know, you don't. You don't give a team a chance to go ahead of you. Hell you no. Have no time. Hell no. Don't do what. Do not foul them and they get the free what? Hell no. Do not do that. Take your chances. Play some defense. Right. Right. I would. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Time remaining in the lower right. Well, they're going to double day. up Michael Jordan here. It's tied. Jordan's oh. going for three. He does not. Ah. We're in overtime at Richfield Coliseum. 
Jordan ends regulation Woo. with 61 points. Put a break. You put a break. There's almost no doubt that Jordan is going to break his career high of 63 in this overtime period. Cleveland looking for the win, which would move them into the eighth and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, it's a Bubba, big game for Cleveland, too, huh? Right into play over here. And you see Michael Jordan. John Williams is not <coughs> even worried about Bill Cartwright. His job is with Winston Bennett to double up Michael Jordan and chase him off the shot. They're not even worried about Bill Cartwright. And you're going to see John Williams does a tremendous job, he and Winston Bennett. As the time runs down, Jordan has nowhere to go. Nobody to pass it to for a good shot. None of the Bulls are inside. Jordan misses at the buzzer. It's overtime, tied at 105. It has been a beautiful game. Chicago led by as many as 15. Cleveland battled back. Wilkins has been ejected. Dick Elm has replaced him. Jordan has 61 points. What a ball game. This would be a very emotional victory for Cleveland, and especially one that they need so desperately right now. Michael Jordan has been absolutely sensational. The other guys have gotten out of the rhythm of the offense. Michael Jordan in the fourth quarter scored all but, uh, but six of the points. And as a result, the rest of the guys then weren't into the flow. Michael has been sensational. And remember, Someone has to step up. Remember, John Stockton fouled out earlier for Chicago. You see the overtime records of the two clubs. Shot clock down to 10 for Cleveland. Inside the door. See, Cartwright's got five fouls, too. they got to get the shot off. Kilo for a long three. Big rebound to Pippen. Not what Cleveland wanted. See, B.J. Armstrong here is going to get some open shots. Price is going to really help out against Michael Jordan. So B.J.'s got to look for his shot when it's there. Yeah, they battling on the block right there. Foul away from the ball. It's going to be on John Williams. See, Bob, right now at this point in the game, when we watch the jockeying around here in the post, psychologically, Cleveland's got to get the lead. At some point, they've got to get the lead. And right now, they have not been able to do that. Here's Jordan. That's a two-pointer. Ah. get it. Price tries to steal the rebound. Pavetta says it belongs to Chicago. <laughs> it's big, not going to like that. John Williams had inside. They're not liking that one, Morris man. It's going to give Chicago a chance here now for another shot. I still say B.J. Armstrong is going to take a big shot here for, for Chicago. Mark Price is going to give some help. Looking for Jordan. Here's Elo on him. Jordan kicks it to Ooh, Grant. He had him right back, but yeah. Elo with a big rebound. Jordan almost stole it. See, Horace had an open shot there. He didn't want to shoot it. That was sort of an afterthought. I don't know if you noticed the hesitation. Absolutely. Elo fakes the three, takes it to the paint, off the glass. Offensive foul, Ooh. wipe out the basket. Elo with five fouls now, and he's defensing Jordan. <laughs> Here's Elo, he pump fakes Michael. Here's Bill Cartwright. That's a good call. Bill Cartwright was standing in the lane, and again, Chicago towards Cleveland from taking the lead. And really importantly, Elo defensing Jordan has five personal fouls. Jordan, got to come double team him right now. Get it out of his hands. Jordan from 13. Jordan ah. has 63, matching his career high. That's Dead tough. Back in 86 versus Boston in two overtimes. <laughs> Chicago by two. Three minutes to go in the overtime for Richfield. Williams. Good help, Mike. Jordan's That's good help, Mike. Yo. Jordan fouled by Nance. You know, it's been Michael Jordan. I, I, you know, how is this man not tired? I, I don't know how he's not tired. I mean, he's, he's doing everything offensively. He comes down and double teams and strips John Williams in the post. Look at him. Here he comes. Look at the strength, and he just rips the ball loose. That's a good clean steal. And he picks it up. And now he's waiting for the ball. Pippen inside to Cartwright. The fadeaway doesn't fall. Uh. He draws the foul. Boy, I tell you what, Cleveland is really upset with the officiating. They felt that there was no warrant to that foul as Bill Cartwright faded away from the shot. And at the other end, they did not get that call. So they are very frustrated right now with the officiating. That's two on Dory. It's 107-105, Chicago, 2.51 to go in overtime. Cleveland has been unable to score 
in the overtime period in a minute and nine seconds. They've had a couple of opportunities. Curry, oh, good. Made it though. But once again, you talk about playoff that basketball. That's what ugly. we're looking at here. You're talking about and once again, who do you go to? As you pointed out earlier, you've got to look for the Cartwrights to come and play big for you. They got You know, Bill Cartwright, you know what, stepped up and took an important offensive foul, and now he steps in and makes two free throws. So again, the little things, all right, that, that win basketball games. Cleveland needs to score on this possession. Price going by Armstrong off the glass. That's and tough. Free throw a three that is tough. You pointed that out at the beginning of this overtime period. Price against Armstrong. Well, uh, that's a matchup. Game below. And now, uh. That's not to be little B.J. Armstrong. B.J. Armstrong is a rookie. He's cutting his teeth right now. Actually, Bill Carwright actually got a piece of that ball. He's cutting his teeth right now against Mark Price, one of the better guards in the NBA. Mark Price has got to put the pressure on him every time down the floor. Price has 27 in this game. Make that 30. There you go. Here's Pippen who lost the handle on it. Cavaliers trail by one. What a big turnover. They need to take the lead here, Bob. I can't impress upon you enough the more important psychologically of them getting into the lead. They're trying to get it to Nance, posted down low. Pippen stepped around, committed the foul on the entry pass. And Pippen will have five personal fouls. <laughs> Team foul situation, four against the Cavs, two against the Bulls, with 2.17 to go in overtime. One-point ball game. And Cleveland gets a timeout. Dick Helm filling in for the ejected Lenny Wilkins, who went out in the third quarter. If your heart can stand it, following this overtime thriller, Coming up next, the Dirty Dozen starring Lee Marvin. Stay with us right after the game here on TNT. 109-108 Chicago. 217 remaining. It is Cleveland basketball. Cleveland has 14 fouls, Bob. So right now, Chicago is in a penalty. Chicago only two. So Cleveland right now still not shooting free throws. You see fouls. Jordan four, Pippen five, Paxson out. William Zeno Nance all with five. I still, you know, and I don't want to belabor the point. B.J. Mm -hmm. Armstrong against Mark Price. Watch what happens in that matchup here in the last two minutes and 17 seconds of this game. Williams will inbound. See if they run Price off the screens here. Well, this might be that trip, that four screens. Here comes Price, four screens. There's one. Here's two. two. <laughs> here comes Three. Nance cleaning it up. Right There's here. four. And you count it right there. And the shot. No. Uh. That's the play. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Price looked over here and he smiled at me. Did you see? <laughs> he looked right at the bench and Doug Collins and said, All right, you said we'd do it. We did it. I should have hit the jump. Minute 52 to go. Chicago leading it by one. Jordan. Oh, the rip through. Doesn't get the opportunity to score his two from the field, but Jordan at the free throw line just may set his all time career high scoring record in this game tonight. And you folks are watching it. Jordan with 63, tying his high set in 86 versus Boston in two overtimes. Nance went out on the foul. He yeah. fouled out. That obviously significant as Bennett, Doherty, and Williams are at the front line now. Michael Jordan just set his career scoring record of 64 points. See, now what happens again with being in the penalty now, the severity of that is that every time Michael puts it on the floor and is fouled, he's stepping up and two, shooting two free throws. So when he beats you on the drive, you've got to hope to get help without fouling him. That's a very difficult thing to try to do. I can't think about anything except maybe Michael will get 70. Minute 40 to go. It Probably could happen if they, if they start fouling. Chicago by three. Here's Price looking for Doherty inside. Cartwright was holding him. Doherty backs in, misses the shot, but will go to the free throw line. Brad Doherty goes to the line. I tell you, Mark Price, I, it's, it's so funny, you know, because coaches have things they like to do in critical times. And Mark Price, when he ran that play, looked over and smiled because we talked about that before the game. Four screens. That was funny. <sighs> Mark Price is still laughing every time he looks over at Doug Collins. He's and we only played these guys 22 times the last two years. He's glad you weren't coaching because actually it worked to perfection. He just missed the shot. Had you been coaching, you would have known that, of course, and probably had somebody take him down on about the third screen. You're right. right or wrong. You're right. Mike and I'm still up one. One point Chicago lead. BJ Armstrong looking for Jordan. There he is. Winston Bennett guarding him now. Jordan. 
pulls up from 13. He'll go to the line again. See, there's the bump. You know what I'm saying? He was about to pass over. But my son said, nah, we could have heard that bristle. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get that up there. That's a better move, man. He's going to get his 70. Watch this now. Michael knows penalty. He drives it. That's that's pretty incidental contact in a game like this to put Michael on with a, with a game of this importance to put a, a Michael Jordan on the foul line. That's 66 points for Jordan. I hope you folks have seen this from the beginning. Michael Jordan has been spectacular. Cleveland has mounted a courageous effort trying to beat Chicago here. Cleveland has eight wins in a row here at home. They're trying to move into that the final playoff spot of the Eastern Conference. Interesting substitution now. Uh, Lent is in the ball game for BJ Armstrong. 19 sure for 21 from the line tonight. Ought to try to take the Different. ball at him. Three point Chicago lead. 107 remaining. Jordan has 67. Price goes for three. Not this time. Lost out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball with 57.4 remaining. See, let, let that time when the ball went in the post left Mark Price. His job right now is to stay with Mark Price. Do not leave him and let him get that shot off. Mark Price gets it to Williams. He's going to take it into the paint hard. Oh, that's He's good defense, from Mike. Drive and John Williams. And Grant. By the way, in case you're wondering, Michael with Jordan with 66. That's on Grant. Wilt Chamberlain once scored 100. I guess everybody knows that back in 62. After that, it was Wilt with 78. These are all-time top performances in regular season play. Chamberlain had 73 in 62. Chamberlain had 73 uh, again in 62. <laughs> David Thompson scored 73. Uh, Denver at Detroit in 78. Then it was 72 by Chamberlain, 71 by Baylor. So you see the company that Michael Jordan is in, and I'll make one more point about that. Pete Maravich once scored 68 New Orleans versus the Knicks. And that was against Walt Frazier, <laughs> one of the better defenders. One point Chicago lead. Cleveland looking at that high trap. They've got Grant. Oh, Cartwright to Pippen. Ten on the shot clock for Chicago. Now if Michael, there you go. Michael's going to drive it. By the same, Mike, come get it, Mike. They by the tree. Williams. The pull-up shot doesn't fall. Elo rebound. Cleveland could take the lead with 25 seconds to go. Well, I can we need to stop now, Mike. You know what's up? You know what's up? We need to stop. We need to stop, man. Gordy's going to set a pick. Now they've got the mismatch. They kick it to Elo for three. Ooh, he low. He low. You got to keep the ball out of Michael Jordan's hands and then foul here on the on the inbounds play. Once again, Cleveland leads the league in three pointers, but not that time for a three pointer. They have to foul B.J. Armstrong, the rookie. But that was a chance for Cleveland to take the lead. They have remember psychologically they have not done that yet in this ball game, and, and as a result, they played uphill the whole time. Greg Elo, the good three-point shooter, but that certainly wasn't the shot you'd think they would have been going for. And Phil Jackson breathes a sigh of relief. Michael Jordan with a sore right arm, 67 points in this game. I don't sore right arm. Franchise, I better not say that. I, I better say I'm kidding. He does not have a sore right arm. Oh. <laughs> Armstrong's only two of six from the line tonight. Uh, it's a big free throw for the rookie. All the scores from around the league right after this game. Chicago by two. Huge free throw by B.J. Armstrong right here. Oh, nothing but the bottom. Three-point Chicago lead. 10.7 to go in the game. And now Cleveland. Damn. If Mike would have got the ball right there, yeah, he could have got Chicago 70. With him all life, Mike should have got the ball right there, bro. To get inside to get a two. But, uh, hey, Bob, we were, I did a game Damn. in Detroit this year where, you know, Detroit's so good, though. Down uh, to Philadelphia. It's all good, man. It's all good, Four man. Four points with nine seconds to go. Isaiah banks a three. They get a steal and lay it in and end up going into overtime and winning the ball game. So, you know, this ball game is far from being over. Mm. Let's take a look at this Elo three-point attempt. He was open for it and it looked online. Well, you know, it was good penetration. You're going to watch Scottie Pippen. You see Michael Jordan, who's guarding Elo, help. But here comes Pippen at the last minute and he gets a hand up and just distracts him just enough. And then, and then the bad kick, the ball does not stay in play, and Chicago got a big break there. Chicago leads it by 
three one fifteen one twelve ten point seven seconds to go in overtime you see Michael Jordan coaching on the bench down there giving instructions to the Chicago team Cavs trying to get into that eighth and final playoff spot well you see now you see they they're at Miami that's a winnable game they have Indiana at home which is very important because it's a head-to-head -head game in case those teams would tie. I think the series is 2-2 right now. At New York, New York struggling, a winnable game. Atlanta at home, and then they also go to New Jersey. So some of the road games, and at Orlando, are winnable games. This is a devastating loss if Cleveland loses this game at home, although Bulls are playing great basketball. For Chicago, they've got a very favorable schedule. Home against New York, home Miami, Miami, Indiana, Orlando. I don't think Chicago is going to catch Detroit unless Detroit totally collapses. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel yeah, better leading back like this. Michael oh, Jordan on Mark Price. That pillow was so fucking long. Better defender up. to try to chase Price away from him. They get the ball to Price, but he's got Jordan on him. Nice spin move. Ooh. And he draws the hard foul from Jordan. Mike not letting him say it. Not easy. Not easy, man. Chill. Y'all, not easy. We're not, you know, we're not you know, not letting that happen. Now you put Price on the line. Now it's important now. Mark Price needs to make both these free throws. Michael chasing him, and when he sees he can shoot a three, he fouls him. Now, in the CBA, that's three free throws. And I like the rule where if you foul a three-point shooter, it's three free throws because that prevents that foul from occurring. You've got to mm -hmm. play tough defense without allowing that foul to happen. Oh, big miss. Big miss by Mark Price. And the foul, John Williams on Grant with 7.6 to go. Boy, that's a that's a big miss. Uh, you know, they just Cleveland has been so close, but yet they just have not been able to finish it. And Price has had a spectacular game, if vastly overshadowed by Mike had it. Price has 31 in this game. Chucky Brown is in to replace John Williams. Grant will go to the line. Uh, 72% free throw shooter, but as you pointed out, Doug, he is inconsistent. So let's see what. Horace Grant does here. These two are big free throws because Chicago leads by two. This is the first. Mm. Hey, you know, he misses this shot. Even if he makes it, if I'm Chicago, I got to think about as they're pushing the ball up the floor, if they, if they don't call timeout, to foul again and not let him get a three point shot off. Watch Michael Jordan against Chucky Brown for this rebound if there's a miss. Grant misses. Rebound mm. through. Past Chucky Brown. You heard Doug Collins call it. Unbelievable. Strong board, man. Mike had multiple chances to get 70, though. If he would have just had, I don't know, if he would have got that defensive rebound and BJ would have let him get that inbound. Could have had, like, 73. Michael Jordan up underneath the basket and pushed him. And, you know, you've got to be very, you know, you could just see it happening. And now Michael Jordan with two free throws will seal the game. And about a million <sighs> rebounds for Jordan tonight also. That was his 18th Real. rebound to go with 67 points. And six assists. Oh, he fell off in that area of his game tonight. <laughs> Maybe he'll work on that in practice. Well, let me see then. Mm -hmm. Michael with six assists, that's 12. And how many points? 60, how many? Let me correct that to seven now that we recheck the statistics. So seven, that's 14 points he accounted for, and then he has 67? Exactly. So what is that math? 81? He's accounted for 81 of 115 points? <laughs> Good contribution tonight. Career high, 67 points, and you folks were here to see it. But he's not finished. He's, he's going to probably end up one short at the 70 mark, but this will tie him with Pete Maravich right there. Pete Maravich had 68 along with Wilt Chamberlain. Maravich scored his 68 in 1967 and <laughs> uh, 1977. Cleveland is absolutely shell shocked right now. They can't believe that Michael Jordan can continue to do this to him. It, it's, it's been unbelievable. 69 points for Michael Jordan. Let him get out this time out real fast. It's about to be over for him. You've got him. Step 100 points. Oh, he stepped to it back court. More oh. than back. John Morton, the rookie, stepped <laughs> he over sold it. Cleveland does not get the opportunity to shoot the ball. That's a rookie mistake. In college, you can let the He's going to hold up. The Bulls get up. Game time. Y'all know what to do, man. Mike just went dumb. 69 points. If you enjoyed this video, man, share the video, subscribe. Tell me what other videos you want me to react to. 
Click on the last reaction right there on your screen right now, and I'm out of here, man.